Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to find all the modium ore. Not just that, I'm also going to show you how to get all the modium ore. And I know both of those terms are exactly the same, but if you're a YouTuber then you know exactly what joke I'm talking about. Since we found netherite and the netherite smithing template in a previous episode, what we got to do now is we have to find all the modium ore, and this is specifically for all the mods 9. The description on this says, found in deep dark biomes, in cave walls, and ceilings. So it's player mineable only, it's not quarryable, and the quarry mod is a really great idea, but I want to show you something different. So the first thing that most important is we take our netherite pickaxe from last time and we do have to enchant it with fortune. So I went all the way up to fortune eight. If you're curious about how I got up to fortune eight, you can follow the series that I have on the channel. We are getting books like crazy. This one's empty, of course. But now that you have your netherite pickaxe with fortune on it, what we're going to do is we're going to check our mini maps for our cave layers. We're going to go to vertical chunk negative four. And here we can see the lowest level of our world generation of everywhere we have explored. That's a huge lava lake right here. And what we're looking for is something like this right here in the middle. If you highlight over it, in the bottom it says what type of region this is and what block you're on. And there we go, it says we're selected on Skulk and we're in a deep dark region. So this is what you're going to be looking for, this on the map. Alright, so this is what the cave region is going to look like. It's covered in Skulk. And what you do is you check the walls until you find something glowing. See, this is uranium. We probably have uranium under that. And this is what I'm looking for right here. This guy right here. A glowing piece of all the modium slate ore. So now that you have your fortune pick, let's go ahead and mine it up. It does need netherite level for it to mine. So we got six pieces of all the modium ore from that. So now that we're back home, we'll go ahead and join G off and B off here, and we will make ourselves an all the modium charm before we waste these pieces. We take one piece and we go ahead and smelt it up into an ingot. We're also going to take three glass bottles with water, and we're going to run it through the brewing stand with one piece of blaze powder. While we're doing this, the recipe for the mortar and pestle from Potions Master is bricks around stone and nether quartz on top of a diamond. Now we need to take our pestle and mortar and an ender pearl to make ender powder, grab our all the modium ingot, and combine our ender powder, mortar, pestle, and all the modium ingot to make all the modium powder. Now that you have all the modium powder, you need to run it through the furnace one more time to cook it. That turns it into the calcinated all the modium powder, which now with your brewing stand that has the mundane potions in it, you can put these through to turn these three mundane potions into all the modium site. There you go. And before you use these individual drinks, what I would highly recommend is taking your blaze powder and turning these guys into the charm that you can turn on and off. Now what's really great is we can head back to the same exact place we mined the Aldemodium. We can turn on our Aldemodium charm and see through the walls for more Aldemodium to mine. There we go. We got four pieces down there. We got two pieces all the way up here. Another two pieces hiding on the wall over here. There we go, we got some more right here too. And what's great about the charm is you can turn it on and off. The potion, it'll be active for five minutes, but you can't turn it on and off the way you can the charm. And from that short little stint, we've already gotten 59 raw all the modium ore. If you make an ore hammer, you'll be able to double it as well. So we got almost two stacks of all the modium dust and we only need one of these 
to make another charm. And before I let you guys go, now we can make some really cool things like the teleport pad with all the modium nuggets, as well as the structure compass with netherite and all the modium and a nature's compass. What's great about the structure compass is you can shift right click to find ourselves a new ancient city. And of course, don't forget the underscore for ancient city. Here we go. Minecraft ancient city select and it'll point us in the direction of the nearest ancient city. And it is 810 blocks in this direction. Very cool. The ancient city is going to be important for next episode. Next episode is going to be how to get the all the modium smithing template. But now that we have a teleport pad with an empty hand, we can shift right click and go to the mining dimension. And here I've already mined all the way down as far as we can go. But with our all the modium site charm, now we can activate it and head down into the deep slate layer. The stone layer will have common ores and the deep slate layer will have the all the modium ore in it. And here we go. We're at the deep slate layer and we can already see all the modium with our old modium site charm. All of it ready for us to mine. There it is. And it's nice and bright for us. So if you enjoy content like this, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell to be notified when the new episode is up. Next episode, what we're going to go for is the all the modium smithing template.